I'm Joe Salinger, a dedicated paranormal investigator. I couldn't resist delving into the rumors circulating about the ghostly sightings at the Crimson Motel. The unsettling news revolves around a chilling incident from several months ago. A man, a manical psychopath brutally murdered two teenagers within the hotel's walls. In response, the management abruptly shut down the motel, citing renovations as a cover. During the supposed renovations, a wave of eerie occurrences unfolded. Construction workers reported encountering apparitions, and some even suffered severe mental distress, compelling them to abandon them, their work site. The Enigma shrouded crimson motel piqued my curiosity. It's precisely the kind of mystery I th thrive on. Armed with my investigator prowess, I am determined to gather concrete evidence within the hotel's haunting confines. Backed my comprehensive computer setup in the van, I will meticulous, meticulously process all the information I collect. My ultimate goal is to capture the undeniable proof of these spectral entities on video camera. If I managed to record any ghostly apparitions, that would be my invaluable contribution to unraveling the secrets veiled within the Crimson Motel. Wow. Okay, now I can move. I guess this is going to be my setup. Hello everybody, welcome to Crafting Chills. I am your host, Helsinki. Let's play Death Motel. Let's chill out and get our chills on. There was something we can press there for a second. There we go. Oh, there's my computer. Cheese. Text editor. There isn't much we can do right now, I don't think. The mouse is kind of a little bit crazy. I'll have to slow it down just a little bit, I think. Do I get a flashlight? I do. Looks rather weak. Let's start with this door here first. Oh no. I guess we won't be able to. Something over there glowing. Oh lordy. Oh, we gotta zoom in, which is kinda nice. Nothing. Hello? Is anybody out here? They say the game takes about an hour to play, I suppose. We'll see. They say it's full of puzzles as well. Depending on their puzzles. And if they're stupid or not. So we can get into those drawers. We can check those drawers over there as well. Flashlight isn't that great. It's not great at all. Okay.
the cars driving by the highway. Buy your dreamland tickets here, is that what it said? blood everywhere in this in this room. Okay, let's try to find a way up. Or not up, but let's try to find some way to get in to begin this game. Side there like that. Oh, finally we got an open door. And a poor flashlight. Which my flashlight could be fixed because it's like it's off kilter a little bit. Maybe because I kept zooming in. Hey, we can do something. What on earth do we have here, I wonder? Got it keep this note. I have stashed that videotape you mentioned in my briefcase. Added a lock. Code is 4476. I don't want to believe all this nonsense. Our worker friends are telling about how this place is haunted, but I guess we are out of options here. Why and how? I have a few theories we can discuss. Call me ASAP. We can record this all, we can record this all place and sell the tapes to national TV shows and we can be rich. If it was only, only that, if it was only that easy, right? Four, four, seven, six. Oh, to go, I know the old game theft. We got a journal. Okay. Documents. And a briefcase. Added a lock. Okay, so we gotta find a briefcase now. Okay. And that wasn't a briefcase, right? That was another briefcase, but not the one we're looking for, right? There's a lot of briefcases around here. I've seen a few of them already. Flashlight is horrible. Company letter. I should scan this and email it to the local news network ASAP. I can use my desktop computer in my van for this task. We'll collect it. Master key card. Looks like this card can open all doors of the motel room. Thank you. Now it seems like we're making progress. Let's go put this in my van. This letterhead. Oh, 
Hope it's a little bit better. Although I don't think it is. Alright, so let's choose this. Added another clue for my case. I need to collect seven more evidences. Okay. Let's take a gander in these rooms. It's a little bit brighter, but not very much. Let's go check the bathroom first before there's any monsters in here. A Polaroid photo of a girl, probably one of those, one of the guests at the motel. She's got, she's got freaky eyes. Didn't have much choice, but this motel is nicer than I thought. That's debatable. Nothing appears to be in there. The flashlights kind of bother me. I don't see anything more in here. You can see a little bit better at night now. Go to room 104. Right and close this door. What on earth shall we find in here, I wonder? Let's check the bathroom out. Is there anybody in here? Oh, nothing in the toilet either. Hmm, what do we got here? Somebody left the cell phone, looks like. Mobile phone. I can crack the contents. I should. My desktop computer in my van can handle this. Ah. Huh. What a man of many talents, I suppose. Let's go crack this phone. Making sure I thought I saw something over there for a second. Let's crack this phone. Aha! Uh -huh. Add another clue for my case. I need to collect six more evidences. Right, do, I, do I get to see what's what it is? Let me see if I can go. Lily and Emma chat log added to the documents. Okay, let's go check out the documents then. This is from Lily. Emma, you won't believe this. This motel is like super duper crazy right now. The lights are going blinky blinky and I hear like spooky, spooky whispers everywhere I... Everywhere. Eek! Emma, this is from Emma. OMG, Lily. You're such a sky cat. Maybe the ghost just wants to be friends, you know, like Casper. This is from Lily. Casper? More like Crispy the ghost. I'm not kidding, Emma. The whispers said my name and then the door slammed shut like BAM. It's not normal, I swear it. This is from Emma. Hello, L. Casper the ghost. Really? Lily? You crack my up. Maybe it's just like the wind or the motel's way of saying, Welcome, Lily. This is from Lily. No, Emma. It's not the wind. The air feels like all icy, and I can't stop shivering. I'm hiding under the covers. But what if the ghosts find me? Why? This is from Emma. Oh, poor little, poor Lily. Don't worry. If the ghost that shows up, just challenge it to dance off. Show your moves, and maybe it'll leave. This is from Lily. Da dance off? You're nuts, Emma. But maybe do ghosts like twerking? Ah, or the cha-cha? If it saves me, I'll dance the ma Macarena, I swear it. This is from Emma. This is a long thing. Ha ha, Lily. You're right. If the ghostie has any sense, it'll run away from your epic dance skills. Just keep grooving, girl, and you'll be fine, Lily. Thanks, Emma. Your silliness is making me feel a bit better, but seriously, I'm so scared I might turn into a scatty potato and never leave the, this bed again. 
them all. It's got a potato. I love it. Don't worry, Lily. If the ghostly dares to bother you, I'll come over with my ghost busting gear, a pillow and a flashlight. Where shall I go? Who's boss? Lily. Ha 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 ha. You're the best, Emma. Thank you for being my ghost busting buddy, even from afar. I'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed I survive the night. Love ya. Emma. Love you too, Lily. Text me if the ghosty gets too brave, but remember, you're braver. Sweet dreams and ghost free vibes coming your way. Okay. This is the company letterhead that we got earlier. Dear Mr. Becking, we regret to inform you that we can no longer provide you construction and renovation services at your Crimson Motel. Please allow me to explain in simple terms. I can't find any workers, either external or from our company's resources, who wants to con continue to work at your premises. I don't believe in ghost stories or any similar urban myths, but I have lost more than a dozen workers since we took this job. They simply refuse to conduct any, any work-related task at your location. Hope you understand. You can dispose of our equipment at your will. Yours sincerely, George Ridge Root, General Manager. And this is the note. Okay, I should be able to get that one. Okay. Okay, so we, we found a couple things. Now we gotta find, a, what, six more things? So we got 104. Let's go check 103. Hello, are there any ghosts in here? Oh, something. Oh, can play the TV? Oh, I gotta do E. Oh, I'm playing a horror movie. Sound like a good movie. They didn't give me the name of it, so I can't go watch it. Nothing, nothing in there. No. Okay, so we got 103 taken care of. There's nothing in 103. Hello, everybody. 102. Uh oh, somebody got a guitar. Uh, it's been through a lot. Everybody's drinking the same stuff. Oof. Any nudies in here? No nudies, no nudie pictures. I'm quite disappointed. Alright, so... Okay, we got everything this way of 105. Hello? Check 101. Whatever shall we find in here? Is that a flash disk? A new flash disk could check the contents using my laptop in my van. Lord, have we found something? Might find some evidence. Find evidence, we'll find out. This is a oh, something lit up over here. Oh. Lucky Star cigarettes. The Zippo. Let's go gather a uh, 
Let's go investigate our evidence. My lord, we're gonna crack this case in no time. about this picture as well. Yes. Oh creepy girl right there. Was the motel her first choice? I don't know, we need four more four more. Let's check out our documents. Susan's photo. If I compare the handwriting on the back of this photo to other notes around, I can easily find out who this girl is. Journalist notes. This must be from that, um, that. Oh my God! It's a lot. That disc that we found. Hmm. Let's let's do this. Let's do it kind of fast. Mysteries of the Crimson Motel. Skeptical, skeptic, skeptical journalist spooked during two night stay. Written by Evan Reynolds of for Midwest Tribune. Early draft, September 19, 2008. Renowned journalist confronts his skepticism as he encounters unexplainable events at the infamous Hotel Crimson Motel. Crimson Motel, September 9, 2008, in the dim-lit room of 201 at the Crimson Hotel, I find myself scribbling these words, trying to make sense of the inexplicable events that have, been, have transpired during my two-night stay. Is that 201? Okay. As a journalist, I have always approached tales of the paranormal with skepticism. However, the, the occurrences at the Crimson Motel have tested the boundaries of my disbelief and shaken the foundations of my rationality. Upon my arrival, the most the motel appeared like any other roadside inn, complete with flickering neon lights and the faint hum of traffic in the distance. The rumors of it being haunted seemed nothing more than local folklore. A gimmick to attract thrill seekers. Armed with my notepad and a healthy dose of doubt, I checked into room 201, determined to debunk the myths surrounding the Crimson Motel. One night one. The skeptic's unease the first night started ordinary enough. I unpacked, settled in, and I tried to dismiss the eerie ambience that seemed to cling to the motel like a second skin. As the night wore on, an unsettling chill permeated permeated the room, despite the thermostat indicating a comfortable temperature. Every creak of the floorboards amplified my unease, and the shadows danced menacingly in the walls. I shrugged it off as tired nerves, attributing my discomfort up to the vivid imaginations of those who had spun tales about this place. Night 2 Unexplainable phenomena, however. The events of the second night shattered my skepticism. In the dead of night, I was awakened by the sound of whispers, indistinct voices that seemed to echo from the walls themselves. Rationality told me it was a trick of the wind or my sleep. Addled mind, but the very core of my being trembled with fear. I crept to the window, expecting to find the source of the whispers, but there was only darkness outside. Returning to my bed, I was met with another inexplicable, in, inexplicable occurrence. The television, which I had turned off before going to sleep, flickered to life. Displaying a channel I had, displaying a channel I hadn't tuned to. The screen showed static, forming shapes that resembled faces, each one contorted in anguish. I hastily unplugged the television, my heart pounding in my chest. The confrontation of belief. As a skeptic, I am trained to question, to seek logical explanations for the inexplicable. Inexplic Yet the events of the Crimson Motel have left me questioning my own convictions. The whispers, the chilling drafts, and the flickering lights defy explanation. I cannot deny that I am spooked, not by a ghostly apparition, but by the realization that... There are forces beyond our understanding. In the coming days, I will delve deeper into the history of the Crimson Hotel, Motel, 
hoping to uncover the truth behind these mysterious events. Perhaps there is a rational explanation hidden beneath the layers of folklore and fear. Or perhaps the motel's haunted reputation is rooted in a reality that transcends our comprehension. For now, I remain in room 201, my fingers trembling as I type these experiences. The Crimson Motel has forced me to confront the unknown, and I can only hope that my skepticism will guide me through the enigma, unscathed, and with my sanity intact. Oof, that was a long one. It was a good story, though. Quite entertained. At least I was. Okay, so we got uh, all these here. So let's go around the back side of the hotel. We want to check 201. We'll check that one a little bit later. Is there a door over here? No, it's just a window. Okay. Something. Okay. Let's check 301. 301? No. This should be 100 and something. 301 should be the third floor. Hello. Oh, my lord. Is anybody in here? What the heck happened in here? There's a haunted hotel in my, in my neck of the woods. It's called Harder Hall. on YouTube. There's been many people who try to get into the hotel and take a look around. I think it was built in like in the 1920s. I've been in it during the daytime and I've been in it at night. Legally, I've been in there. And it is creepy at night, I can, I, I can assure you that. Hello? Yes, I've been in there. What do we got here? What is this? Oh no, this is... Oh no, we need a key for this, right? We don't have a key. Okay, let's get back. We don't have a key for this one. So we have to come back to three... Oh, oh. My door closed. Or did I close it? I don't know. I don't recall closing it. I swear I did not. What happened to 302? Oh, no, we went. Okay, never mind. We went to 302. Okay, so 301, we don't need to worry about. 302, we gotta get into. 303. Hello? The Death Motel. Whatever shall we find in it? I purposely closed that door. place is under renovation, or was. Harder Hall's been under, under many, numerous renovations as well. And several owners over its time, too. Everyone who's bought that hotel has died mysteriously. One, one owner I heard died in a plane crash. And I can't remember how the other ones died, but everyone who's owned that hotel has died. Doors on the left open. Hello. So check out the heart of hall. Now I do have a story. If you just look up at crafting chills on YouTube, I do have a another channel where I just write stories. I haven't done any in a while because I've been setting up this channel. Eventually, I'll get back to it once I get this channel kind of settled. I could go there and check out. I did a story on Harder Hall. I mean, I, oh, did I close that door? So now I can't remember if I closed that door or not. Now, I'm not a good writer, but I do like to tell stories. So I take it with a grain of salt is that it's any good or not. If you do want to check it out, just type in at, at Crafting Chills. Okay, this is 306. 
probably got about, I don't know, a few poems and a few scare stories. Okay, this is the room we've been into. This is what gave us the, the code. Which I don't remember what the code is. But the poems are, are scary. I don't write any, I used to write a lot of poems. I don't write any more of those. No, okay, no, I know I didn't close that door. Sounds like people working. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Just knock if you can hear me. Yeah, make sure I don't... That door closed. I just watched it close right now. That is kind of freaky. Room 308. Whatever are we gonna find here? Oh, a key. Could this be the key to 302? I guess we'll find out, won't we? The yellow key has been added to our inventory. That's 303. One more. Here we go. Is this going to be it? Oh, I can't use this item here. Oh, no. Let me make sure. So it's not that key. Looks like maybe it's a green key. Okay. So let's head up to the second floor. Let's go to 401. Seventy-six. I can't quite remember. We'll try it. How do we select? Okay, so it wasn't that code. Okay, so let's go check our documents. Note to Garrett. Four four seven six. Okay, we're close. 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 Not close enough. What do we put? 1476. Okay, so 4476. And let's try to unlock it. Oh, a tape. An old VH tape with, with label 207. Although we found some more evidence. Jesus. He got me just a little bit. Right, let's go run back. I'm not sure if they meant us to go to 201 earlier or what, but I'm kind of like saving it towards the end, I guess. I might be doing it backwards, I don't know. Let's put in this tape here. Okay. Add another clue for my case. I need to collect three more evidences. Okay. Well, we're doing quite nice. I still will have to light the video up a little bit, I'm supposing. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. No, I can't. Uh-oh. Huh? Okay, so we got 
at um, 401. single thing. Let's go to 403. So far this game isn't too bad at all other than the light being a slightly bit of an irritation. It's been four oh four, hello, anybody in here? cases. Mm. I know we're working here during the day. I did not. Hello, is there any spooky ghosts in here? I'm a ghost provoker. I like to provo provoke these spirits. Whatever chance I get. Except for probably in real life, I probably wouldn't do it. But in a video game, what's it gonna do to me? You gonna do anything to me? Nothing at all. Let's go to 401. Is that where we saw the box? And that's where we got into one of the boxes. Okay. So was it the next room over? No. No, I cannot remember where all these things were. Now we got into that box. So it must be in the 300 then. I'm guessing it might be the 300s. We'll go do these little bits of uh, evidences and then we'll move on. Which one is this? Is this 204? 205. Let's do 204 first. Uh, that's that ghost again. I need two more evidences. We got one more right here. Get back out of here and go back into it. This guy, we saw him before. He jump scares a couple times. 
I got one more evidence a killer is on the loose. Okay. A killer is on the loose. That means we've seen him twice already. So that means the chance of us getting out alive is probably going to be minimal at best. Start on the other end. Work our way to 201. Hello? I'm gonna close this door automatically myself. Let's play that tape there in a second. After we investigate the bathroom first. Make sure there's nobody hiding in there. Okay. I think we're okay. Let's, let's do this. Some good movies. Alright, so let's move forward. This seems like there's gonna be demons involved. 207. As we work our way down to 201. Is there any body in the bathroom? Workers working, I guess. What's this? Paper note. A crumpled paper note barely readable. Perhaps I should use my scanner in my van to make the text more visible. Perhaps we should shut. Perhaps we should do that. But not before we continue our investigation. in here <gasps> what is this a weeble wobble I can't do anything with it oh man we get to watch another movie maybe 205 Nothing to nothing Nothing to nothing Let's check the bathroom out before we settle in and watch a movie This better be good I'll go to bed now. Does any of you guys down in the comments have a, a favorite movie? I like to hear. I think the best movies are probably from the 70s. Maybe early 80s. But I mean, there's a lot of good ones now, even, but not as good, I don't think. Hello, we're in 203. We're getting close to 201. What we'll probably do before we get to 201 is go back downstairs and investigate this cryptic note that we got. That should be our last clue. This is two of two. Nothing. A Rubik's Cube. Like it's all messed up. Go down 
downstairs before we get into room 201. Which is right over there. Our last room. Susan's note. Is this girl still alive? Now I have to record any ghost sightings. If I can, I have to explore every nook and cranny around the motel. The dead can never harm me, right? Okay, so now I'm recording. Let me take a look at, uh, uh oh. Where's my, no, my, uh oh, my documents are gone. I wanted to read that note. Shit, that's not nice. So now I'm recording. Let's head back up to room 201, shall we? Let's chill out and get our chills on. Whatever shall we find here? Another movie, perhaps. This is where this guy stayed. Hello? Oh shit! This, this, whatever that uh, it, it was, I got that on tape. Do you want to, do you want to soothe her to sleep? Crazy, you don't want to soothe any ghost to sleep. You can't soothe a ghost. You can only banish them into hell. After we watch our movie. Let's watch a movie first. Uh oh, we can't watch a movie. Oh shit. We can't even do anything. Maybe we should have um investigated 201 first. Now we gotta go investigate every room. See if we can catch anything on tape. Hello? I'm recording. All right, room two or three. I'm not picking up any sp uh, uh, spectral analysis in here. My fancy words I use. Spectral analysis, I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll use it. Nice. I wonder if we have to I mean put this down, the camera down and look for things. Or we just carry the camera the whole time. 205. Is there anybody in here? I can find out what happened to that little girl. Was that Lily? I think she's dead. I don't remember what room she was in. I don't think they said what room she was in. That's our van, right? Room 206. If there's anybody in here, come out now. I command all the evil spirits to come out now. Unless you're afraid. Everybody's got their TV. I don't think I've ever seen all their movies. What room is this? 207. We've got one more room on the top and then we'll go back. Hello? I haven't seen but one ghost since we turned on the camera. Okay, 
onward to the first floor. Let's check this this way first. Start at 108 and work down ourselves down to 101. I like this game so far because it gives you objectives. Kind of leads you in a direction you need to go. For some of us, that's important. 106. Is there any ghost in here? I command thee to show yourselves. In the name of Jesus, show yourselves. Or go back to hell, whichever one you want. But do one of the two. You weak and fear your demons. Gosh. That's so weak. Oh! This is whatever I got in the tape. And I need to. Do you want to help her clean the windows? Heck no. I don't even want to clean my own damn windows. Was that the girl? I didn't get to see her face. All that, all that well. Was that the a girl um, in, the, in the Polaroid snapshot? 104. Kind of half expecting to see a girl drowned in a in a bathtub. One oh three. So this is a line from one of my favorite movies. If you can guess it, put it in the comments. There's no prizes. Let's see here. So what your knowledge might be. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I do have certain movies that I watch on a regular basis, not all the time, but like at least once a year, maybe. Here's my all time favorite would be Salem's Lot from the, I think 1979. That's probably the first real scary movie that I watched as a kid. That scared the bejeebus Jesus out of me. Any ghosts in here? Let's take a gat and gander in here. For months, I will cover up my neck in the bed. Every shadow I'd see at night, I would think it was a vampire coming up on me. To this day, vampires are my worst fear. 
feel like I can handle zombies. The slow kind, not the running kind. The running kind, I'll probably be dead in a matter of minutes. Are we in 301? the sex of vampires although sometimes I do but it's not my thing it's just it's vampires totally I don't need sex of vampires I remember as a kid I think I saw sex of vampires I said I wouldn't mind her biting me thing to say, ain't it? She can bite me anytime. I remember saying that. I, I think the, like Dracula, I think he's always had uh, sexy girls around him. So that's where that came from. Now that I'm all grown up. Oh, Jesus. Oh dear, what the hell? Need more of these sightings on tape. Angry Susan? Who made her angry? Yes, uh, uh grown up, I don't, I don't wish for that for nothing. I don't care how sexy she is, I don't want her biting me. Three oh six. So we found an angry suit. I was able to open it, but not do anything with it. Is that different stuff that we was missed, probably? Maybe. Huh. I don't know. Can't get it now, whatever it is. Hello? We need some more ghost sightings on tape. Susan, what are you doing? This is whatever it was. I got it on tape. I need more. What lurks behind these curtains? This angry Susan. Everybody meet angry Susan. Everybody. Let's go upstairs now. This should be our last. Hopefully, our last trip upstairs. What? Four oh eight. We need more evidences. We got several of Angra Susan. We need to find more. fanatic I've been a whore ever since I was a kid. My mother was always a whore nut as well. Okay, what are we gonna 
find down here. We're on the 405. Probably gotta go 10 and uh, 201 again. Do that in a bit. 404. I don't want to anymore. more I need I need of these whatever they are do you want to tour this motel with her no I don't Sightings on tape. How much more are you gonna need? Well, I don't want her around here either, but this whip so I can get at least one more picture. Hopefully, that's all I need. Is there anybody here? Not having much luck already. Okay, hopefully, I'm back to 201. Oh Lord, please let this be it. Just for my own sanity. Time to be done. Have a body. Done. I've collected enough ghost footage. Sure, if the world is ready to see the footage I recorded here, I should release it anyway, just to respect the dead. So it wasn't a bad game, just the ending, getting the ghost, was really, it kind of sucked. I think I went into every room like 20 times. But it's over with now. Now, thank God. And guys, I will see you on the next time. I love you. Bye-bye.